I knew that you needed the aerator in the bottom of the tank because the larvae like to attach to the air bubbles to move. They sort of ride on them around in the tank. But one thing that I found out this year is that when larvae, uh, when they're born, they become a swimming eyed larvae, they immediately swim down because they want to attach to what? Shell. They want to attach to shell. So oysters go on the bottom, so the larvae instinctively swim to the bottom. So the bubbles help push the larvae up into the water column. So this afternoon what we're going to be doing is we're going to wash some shell, we're going to get the sediment off of the bag shell, load it into the truck, drive it over here, and then we're going to take all of this shell and put it in here and get it ready. On Sunday we'll fill it full of water and on Monday we'll put the larvae in. And then on the uh, on Monday the 14th we'll take it out and it will add to the reef that's already grown. If you come around here, I want to show you another part of the grow out, another part of the farm that's in here. Uh, obviously, this is very small scale. Um, there are the guys, uh, oyster hatcheries, they have millions and millions and millions of seed growing. But water is entering in the tank here and goes to the bottom. And then the only place to go out is that pipe. And so in order to get in that pipe, it's going to come up through the bottom of these buckets that have mesh on them. And laying in the bottom of the buckets oysters. are teeny little baby oysters. Mm. They I are so cute. Eat that one for <laughs> 20 years. Probably like two uh, years. Right they, these guys right here, they're going to double in size in the next 10 days. Okay, no much. Probably about a year. Uh, and they grow exponentially fast when they're young. Why do you think that the oysters want to grow really, really fast when they're babies? So they don't survive. get eaten. For, 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 exactly, survival. Uh, right now, these are very susceptible to pred predation. It's like, it's like candy. They're like, ah, oh, so, so, so good. So, um, so they grow really fast until they get about like this big, then they start slowing down and investing more into their shell, making it really, really hard. Um, so these guys will grow in here, and then we're gonna put them in bags, and w then when they're big enough, we'll put them out into the cages. So, um, so if you come to Living Campus, if you work in Living Campus this fall, You'll be managing the little babies, we'll be working on the reef, we'll be working out on the farm, uh, and we'll also be looking at other aspects of campus to help improve water quality.